Hi guys, happy Friday. Happy Friday guys. Welcome to the weekend. We're finally here you guys. It's been a rough week for me. Um, as you guys can see, Amari um, broke his foot at the beginning of the week and now um, I haven't really been getting that much sleep because, ooh, sorry for the brightness, but I haven't been getting that much sleep because um, Babe is also um, not feeling well. He has a tooth, his wisdom tooth is hurting him so, so bad, you guys. I feel so bad for him because um, to see a grown big man like Babe almost in tears, you know they're in pain. Like, Babe can handle pain. He he tolerates pain like it's nothing, but his tooth in the back, his uh, wisdom tooth has really been giving him problems. He had um, gone to the dentist uh, maybe like a month ago, got you know, routine checkup, got the his teeth cleaned and everything, and she noticed that he had a fractured um, tooth in the back, which was the uh, wisdom teeth. And um, she told him that she he would need to go to an oral surgeon to have that um, extracted, and he has not taken the time to do that as of yet. And um, he don't like to take days off work. So I'm telling him, like, you're going to have to take some days off or a day off to go at least get it taken out so that it won't hurt you. But, man, when I tell y'all this guy has been in so much pain, it's really, really sad um, to actually see him like that. But um, I called today, like, around to different, like, places to see if there's, like, um... An emergency dentist out here somewhere which when you look them up it's all they're all over but then when you call them uh, I have one place say due to COVID we're not doing emergency clinic anymore because of the coronavirus or when I caught um, another place that said they were like a 24-hour emergency weekend type of um, dentist, they said that they close at one on the Fridays and then the next available consultation would be on Monday. And I'm like, why are you guys advertising if you guys are not actual emergency clinics or if you guys are not actually seeing patients? um like an emergency type of situation so i was a little annoyed by that um but anyways um hopefully we'll get something this weekend i ended up calling this place i saw online and i, and I believe they help you well they do they help you try to find a dentist in your area so there was a place that um they saw that looks like maybe able to help us they're open on the weekend but they have to wait until they open tomorrow morning to let us know if he'll be able to be seen or not. My battery died, of course, mid, mid sentence. But anyways, you guys, um, like I was saying, I just haven't gotten any much, very much sleep this week because um, while well, babe has been up, of course I've been up, like, cause I, I really feel bad for him because every time he went to lay down to go to sleep, he was jumping right back up. So, um, I just got up, I took a nap, um, it's Friday, you guys, and it's almost time to go get him. I am going to clean up the kitchen uh, really fast. I don't have that many dishes to clean, but there is some in the dishwater, I mean, in the, um, in the sink that I need to get out the way. And then, um, I wanted to make a shepherd's pie. I wonder if I should do that. I wonder if I have time. It's almost six o'clock and normally I leave here at like uh, 6.45, seven-ish to go pick up, babe. So I'm wondering if I'll have like, I'll try to do it all, honey. Because <laughs> I would like to have it done by the time I got, we get back and I could kind of like relax more than just be up working in the kitchen. Um, after I get them, so let's try to get this done really, really quick. Something to bite, a bit of bug, yeah. Double the bum, 
fire yeah. Set the potato potato Boy yeah Boy yeah Boy yeah Sunlight that always stays Dinner by the waterway It's that sweet life Raise your cross Made some do crack a smile He asked if I could stay a while I'm living that high life Time to catch a flight but you can make me go Unlocking all the memories of my new home Ventilated echoes playing to and fro To and fro Back and forth, yeah Caught some kids dancing in the alleyway Crazy how the melodies began to play, yeah Tell me how you feel it when you hear the lyric, yeah My heart's in Stockholm Now I never wanna go home I left my heart in Stockholm I brought a girl on my best bus She said I already told ya yeah, yeah. I never dated a black guy I said you're brown yourself Let me offer help Come on inside Everybody knows your name, everybody knows your name Time to catch a flight but you can make me go Unlocking all the memories of my new home Ventilated echoes playing to and fro To and fro, back and forth, yeah Caught some kids dancing in the alleyway Crazy how the melodies began to play, yeah Tell me how you feel it when you hear the lyric, yeah my heart's in Stockholm The kitchen is cleaned, I got my dinner done um, All I have to do is uh, turn the oven on, put it in the oven And yeah, we're done Amari has this little, he's having a little popsicle And um, I'm getting ready to take him to his sister's house But I told him before he does that he had to take out the trash that was here in the kitchen and then bring the trash cans that are out on the curb in the front because today is Friday and um, it's our trash day here in the area. So yeah. That's my little lamp. It's got a little vibe in here. So, oh, before I forget, so my grandmother watches my channel and um, I was talking with her yesterday and she mentioned to me, she wanted to know why I washed my dishes twice. And I was like, I don't wash my dishes twice. And she was like, yeah, you do. Um, I see you wash them and then you put them in the dishwasher. So um, that wasn't the first time somebody has asked me that. So I wanna tell you guys that I am not washing my dishes twice. I wash them in the sink. Um, I put bleach and everything in there. And then, um, so I wash them in the sink with bleach and then instead of having like a drying rack on my counter, I use my dishwasher to dry my dishes, if that makes sense. So um, basically I'm just putting them in the dishwasher to dry and that's it. I don't turn the dishwasher on. Um, it's not drying, like I'm not turning it on the dry setting or anything, they're just literally sitting in there drying um as if they were on a dish rack on my counter that's it so i wanted to um clarify that um another time somebody asked me about me washing the dishes twice and then using my dishwasher sometimes when i do use my dishwasher i will wash the dishes off a little bit because sometimes i feel like dishwashers don't clean the dishes as good and especially my um, silverware I like to like really kind of wash them off and then put them in a dishwasher sometimes but lately it's not a lot of us here in the house it's just me um, Amari and babe so we don't have a lot of dishes even though it be looking like we do it's not really a whole lot so it's not even 
that serious to turn the dishwasher on to wash those dishes. So that's what I'm doing, you guys. Um, so I was laughing because I thought it was so funny. She really thought that I was literally washing the dishes and then putting them in the dishwasher. And I could totally see why it would look like that because that's what that's what I'm doing. It's like I'm washing them and then I put them in the dishwasher. So, yeah. So I'm glad that um, I got that chore done. So it is. Hold on, let me look at the time because I got my uh, clock. It's 6.45. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's 6.45 and I'm right on schedule to leave the house to go pick up babe. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I got my nails done today, you guys, and um, they look all right, but I feel like they look like little Tic Tacs because um, they're white, but they're really square. And um, no big deal. They look way better than what they did before I went, so. But I was really irritated with the lady. I hate going to the nail shop and they just dig and dig and dig in your feet to a point where you're bleeding. And not only that, um, the lady was moving so slow. Like, it's either we want them to move fast or we want them to slow down. We don't really know, like, what we really want or is that just me? Because when I was, um, when I was getting my feet done, I'm looking like, lady, come on. Like, I've been here for almost two hours. Let's go. Because I had to take my niece and the baby to a doctor's appointment and um, my time was just really running out and I didn't want to be rushing. So, anyways, there's this kid right here. Yeah. My hobble hobble. He's in his boot, y'all. Y'all need to talk to him about keeping his boot on his foot because he be trying to come out of that thing. Uncomfortable. Of course it's uncomfortable. I can't walk quick. Well, sit down somewhere. Okay. Have a seat. You don't know what you want to do. You want to go to the refrigerator. No, I want to Take that out. Take that out. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We're not going to do that, sir. I want the refrigerator to get some food, but hang on. Moving around a lot. And then you were talking about going swimming. People with broke feet go swimming. Mm -hmm. I put my foot in the water. Uh-uh. I'm not talking to him. He's doing the most with that. <laughs> I got me a little snack for the road. Now, you guys, this may sound crazy to you. Um, there's this taco place over by Babe's job. And he's never been there. But that's the place that my sister and I went to. I think I shared that with you guys, or I don't know if that was in the old um, disc drive that I had um, that I couldn't get my things upload, uploaded. However, um, I did tell Babe I wanted him to try these tacos on today. Uh, Cause Fridays we normally try to go get like a little taco at this place called um, Bethos. I think I've shared Bethos with you guys before, but I really wanted Babe to try this taco place out. Even though I cooked dinner, um, I took the meat out. That meat was out and I really wanted to get the meat cooked so that it wouldn't go bad and just sit in the refrigerator. But I, I want to go get a taco and I want to take Babe to get a taco. They have the best fish tacos. They are amazing. They're absolutely amazing. So y'all see us chewing on a taco. Don't be judging us now because um, they're absolutely amazing and um, they're they're like a medium size, like a nice, healthy, healthy size taco. And um, I think I'm gonna get one. I'm all right, come put Lovey up. Go lay down, Lovey. Look at these tacos, y'all. Look at these tacos. They are so good. But I didn't realize they were so expensive. But it is worth it. We're at the kids' house. Hi. Hi. <laughs> right. We gotta take our shoes off. Not really. Everybody got like a shoe area. Like, <laughs> look at this guy. Be careful, Mark. Be careful. Right. We don't need no extras. Look, guys. We at the kids' house. Water. Oh no, it's just oh, good look in there. I need to give like a house tour. No. Why? You guys, this is the kids' entryway. I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna give you guys a small tour of their apartment. So this is like a little sitting area. I don't know, what is this called right here? What do they call this? Oh, a sunroom. This is a sunroom. And this is their living room. Michaela, is your room clean? No, it's not. Oh, well, we're gonna show you guys. And this what are you doing? I'm doing a home tour. Why are you doing a home tour? Because I feel like it and everybody needs to see. So this is their little work from home station. Here's the kitchen. It's nice. They got a little kitchen, it's clean. And then they have a laundry room. Let's see how this laundry room look. This is their little laundry room. This must be a water heater or something. Oh, look at look at this. Look at that little area. And then you come out the kitchen. You haven't been able to work out. No, this is Michaela's room. This is Michaela's little domain. The little purses, little picture, her little closet. I can't really see, but this is her closet. What they got in here? It's a little storage closet, y'all. And then this is their Michaela's bathroom. See a lot of stuff that came from my house in here. And that's the little tour. Well. I think Maya, Fargo sleep, Maya? Yeah. I want to show you guys Maya's room because Fargo is sleeping. Oh my God. Show. What are you guys watching? This is Michaela oh. watching. Oh. I'm not showing y'all what they watching over here. Did you show Maya? I did. Oh, Michaela. Ma. Mm -hmm. Maya. Run the world. Run the world. Run the world. Oh, you want to go watch that at home? It's about to go. Huh? <laughs> Get on my nerve. We got our kids' house, babe. Here you go. I guess that's here. What? We got our kids' house. What's up, Maya? What's she talking about? Okay, you guys can take it. This is Maya's room, guys. Maya and Fargo's room. Is this how you be doing both of your things? Yeah. Watch out, Amari. <laughs> Let's see. Mm -mm. That's, That's their little. It's not bad. I mean, you're doing better than how you kept your room at home. Bye. This is nice. <laughs> oh, not the bathroom, Mom. The bathroom, the trash ain't taken out. Girl, you're fine. That's cute, you guys. I'm so happy for them. Is that mine? Ooh. Y'all hear that? Yours. The flat iron. No. Because I can't find a flat iron no. or a blow dryer. That's not yours. Okay. We'll have that thing. Okay. 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 Good morning. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, guys. I'm getting ready to. Brew me up some coffee. And um, I came downstairs and I asked babe, like, why are you turn the oven on? Because we're going to make bacon. And right when I was about to fuss at them, I see those beautiful roses on the counter. Um, I love roses, by the way. And I love getting them randomly. So I'm very thankful for that. 
But um, today is Saturday, and um, I think I better put some water in here because we are low. But today is Saturday, and we don't have any plans, y'all. Hold on. It's been really quiet. Amari's not here. He's at his sister's house. So it's just baby and I, and it's actually really late. It's like one o'clock. And I just got out of the bed. I was in the bed. I was up, but scrolling. Um, just watching a little bit of Red Table Talk with uh, Jada Pinkett's uh, daughter. They have like red couch now. Um, so she was having a conversation with um, Paris Jackson, Michael Jackson's daughter. And I was really touched because their stories are just so sad. Like growing up. You think that when you're born in a family with money and fame that you really have everything. But when you hear their stories, you realize you don't. And I bet they'll, they'll be willing to trade lives to just live a normal life. And it's sad because everybody always wants the opposite. Or always want what the next person have. When we should really just be thankful for what we have and the lives that we have because the people that are famous. Babe, you want coffee? Babe, do you want coffee? Yeah. The people that's famous and we feel like we have, they have everything and we are wishing for what they have. Y'all should hear some of their stories. I am really like, um, saddened. I'm like very sad about the story, like, the conversation that they had and how they feel like suicidal and wanting to um let me sit right here and talk to y'all for a minute they feeling like suicidal and um feeling like they don't belong in the world and feeling like they don't even know who they are um their identity sexuality any of that like that's just stressful um paris she was saying how when she's walking or, or not even walking, but alone, she hears like sounds, like clicking sounds, cameras from the paparazzi. And she's like, she has PTSD from this. And I can see how, like, man. And then we look at these people and we're like, what's, what's going on with them? Why are they so strange or weird? And sometimes we gotta step back and think like, what's going on in their lives that's causing them to be that way? Like, it's really an eye opening, um, situation when you hear it directly from them and I don't sit down and listen to those types of things enough to understand what they really go through in life um, imagine not being with your family um, or your, your your kids for months and weeks because your father or mom they're famous their job requires them to be away I mean it's a lot can't have a normal life, can't walk through the stores, can't be outside without people following you, taking pictures or bringing things up that are very sensitive to you. Um, they were following this girl through the airport telling her things like, um, was your father murdered? Like, why would you say that? Like, that's terrible. So my heart just really goes out to them this morning um, or today, because the morning is clearly over you guys. I don't know what we're gonna be doing today. I did a washout on my hair and it's really bushy. I mean, I like it bushy, but I think that I put too much product because I'm feeling like I'm seeing some little flakes. Oh, it just makes me wanna wash my hair again. I'm so annoyed. But anywho, you guys, it's a beautiful day in Zamunda. It is um, clear and sunny outside. However, I do, I did hear that we were supposed to be getting some rain here in Georgia. I didn't show you guys my shepherd's pie. Um, well, we ate them tacos. We tore them down, y'all. They were so good. Babe liked them. And then later on, once we got home, um, we did eat some shepherd's pie. But I didn't show you guys what it looked like um, because... We just dug in. I put it in the oven and I forgot to even show you guys how it turned out. Um, but I don't even wanna show you guys how it look right now because it don't look so good because it's still cold. But there it is, y'all. That's how much we ate. We didn't eat very much and that was between the both of us. So we still have this whole thing left and this is what we're gonna have. Um, 
for today's dinner. Y'all, babe got jokes. He walking around here waiting on his line man to show up and he, he ain't no call, no show. So y'all wanna know what he just told me? I'm gonna let him tell you for yourself. For yourself. Tell, tell him what you just said to me. Oh, I said I can pay you $80. <laughs> <laughs> I can pay you, it's $40 a week. I mean, every two weeks, I can pay you 80. You heard what this man just said? He would pay me $80 to cut the grass a month. You wanna make this money or what? I'm done with this man. <laughs> Somebody could save London. That is hilarious. <laughs> he said, babe, I can pay you $80. Dang. I might take him up on an offer. I mean, shoot. Just to get it done, y'all. Our, our grass grows super fast. Like we just got the grass cut two weeks ago and it's time, definitely. Today the man was supposed to come back and you know, call no show. I mean, it's 1.52, so the day still ain't over, but all I hear is crickets. I didn't hear everybody else's um, lawn man come or gardener come, and ours still ain't showed up. But ours is um, actually the same as the neighbors across the street, so their grass hasn't been cut either. However, baby's waiting. He waiting, waiting. Look at my sister. My right, girl, go sit down. Go sit down. Go have a seat. She all up and early because I'm me. That's her caption. I can't. Just waiting on baby's bacon. Baby, what are we doing today? Nothing. Join. I might go get a beer. I need to go to Lowe's though. Baby, I thought we was gonna go to Trader Joe's. We got the whole weekend today, but I'll take you. Today is the day. You wanna go today? Yeah, after you eat this bacon. Oh, that's why you fixed it? No. Get me nice and full so I can go. You got food up in your belly? Now come on and drive me. Tell me if you want your man to do anything, feed me. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Thank you for my flowers. You're welcome. That was so sweet. It was, huh? Give me a kiss. I'm so sweet, y'all. I'm so sweet, but I can't get over. He trying to pay me to cut the grass. I'm done. Lying on people to do so. I'm gonna get a battery operated lawnmower. <laughs> Cause I want my garage to smell like fumes. Like yeah, that. I don't like that either. Cause the whole house starts to smell like gasolina. <sighs> Almost burnt the bacon, y'all. So look when it come out so I'm gonna take it out so that um, some of that oil could come off of it and I just put it on a plate with some paper towels
The reason why I always cook the bacon in the oven is because I really don't know how to cook it on the stove. For on on the top, for some reason, it always burns. And I've really just learned how to make rice. I always had a, a rice cooker and um, I wore it out. Never bought another one, so I had to learn. And voila. That's Babe's Gardener. I might be losing my job. Hey, what's going on, boss? Cut the grass today? Can you have his phone number? Hello? We just left the house, y'all. Headed to Trader Joe. Hello? You look at me like I'm crazy when I shut my feelings out. Look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it Something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are What are you here for? <laughs> what are you here for? All right, guys, we made it back home, uh, but we didn't beat the rain because it's pouring down. <laughs> It was such a nice day, um, but we got some some things to share with y'all. I love going to Trader Joe's, but it's not often that I go because it's so far away. It took us about 40 minutes, 35 minutes to get there. So 
so it's not like it's right up the street but i really do love going over there especially during like christmas time y'all that's when it's so nice um but yeah i'm just taking everything out of the bag so i can share with y'all what we got before i put these up and then um we're pretty much in the house for the rest of the day it's rainy we don't have plans to do anything i really don't want to do anything anyway um so it's just one of those days i don't know why i'm out of breath so let me show you guys what i got i gotta put it up and like in a, some type of order Okay, y'all ever get stuff and then want to just open everything just to taste it because you're just excited to try everything? That's that's how I feel right now. I just want to open it all up. But anyways, um, I guess we'll start off with um, Babe's Fruit. So this is our whole little, um, all the things we got. So we start off with these, Babe, what are these? Plum plum tots green plum tots it's pretty good they're sweet we already had one of those he got them some mango cuts and some cherry plums and what else did you get oh he got some blackberries and he also got some cherries and then he got some chili mango. These are always really good. So he grabbed some of those. We started eating on these already. Garlic and onion um, pistachios. These are really good. But um, they are really strong with the garlic. But they're actually really, really good. And then I got some almond butter granola. And it has... Um, almond butter and whole almonds in it so i'm excited to try this this will be good with um some yogurt so that's why i got those or a nice little snack on on its own i grabbed some of these um dark chocolate covered almonds these were good as you can see we've already been eating those um we got uh salmon got one of those and then this is what i'm really excited about the chicken and cheese uh, ravioli this is a four cheese ravioli and right here you can see what cheese ricotta mozzarella parmesan romano and herbs so this should be really really good i gotta figure out a good sauce i'll probably make my own sauce to go with these i really don't like um like the canned sauce for raviolis or anything like that and this is another thing i'm excited about the spicy mango lemonade i heard they had like a um just a regular spicy lemonade as well no jalapeno lemonade but um i'm, I'm excited for the mango this right here um this is like a apple cider vinegar beverage but it's a sparkling um lemon and strawberry so i'm excited to try that babe got him some alkaline water he only got two bottles but he didn't realize you could buy a case um so next time um over here we got some ginger snaps these are really good you guys i got these um the last time i was at uh, trader joe's and those are really really good as well and then babe of course grabbed him some ribeye steak he got two of them and that's our little haul. It was a nice little ride. The scenery was really nice. Um, and the weather was beautiful. Like it was really, really, really sunny. But now all of a sudden, that's changed. Babe, you want me to put these in the freezer? Or where? No, you put them in the freezer. Refrigerator. His steaks. He'll probably be making those probably tomorrow or something. Um, so yeah, that's what we got going on for today y'all this refrigerator i really need to clean it out we're just gonna hang out for the rest of the day probably watch some some movies or something
you guys if you ever go to walmart get these grapes here they are so good and sweet these are really good these are the midnight beauties seedless grapes um extremely sweet and good I oh, got this jerk chicken burrito, you guys. I'm excited to try this. It's a spicy jerk, chicken meat, coconut rice, dark red kidney beans, and fruit salsa in a flavored tortilla. That looks like it's gonna be delicious. So, like, should I put this in the freezer or should I put this in the, in the refrigerator? I think I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. And that's it, y'all. I might end the vlog here, you guys, because we're not going to be doing anything else. And I really want to get this up and um, edited for you guys so that probably tomorrow you guys can see it or by Monday. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that. But I think I might just end it here, y'all. I'm sorry to end it so abruptly, but I was just thinking like I won't be doing anything else so I could be working on it so you guys could see it. So if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you guys here. Please um, hit the subscribe buttons. Those of you who are, don't forget to turn your notifications on because we are trying to grow Life of London over here. Also, follow me on my social media, life underscore with underscore London underscore over on Instagram. And um, I think I share with you guys my little TikTok. I just do like little cleaning videos over there. So if you guys are on that platform as well, it's called um, House of London 79. Okay. And don't forget to like this video. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.